Hey, welcome back and in today's video. Welcome back to The Rep Reports, the news that matters to you. If you're unfamiliar with this, uh, I haven't done it in quite a long time, but I'm starting back up. It's uh, news that's relevant to us. But before we get started, we finally have The Rep Reports merch. We have the mug, and then you can also get the diecast sticker as well as just the regular sticker so you can rep the rep. That's right, Greg. You can rep The Rep Reports. That link will be in the description. In today's episode of The Rip Reports, we're going to be talking about Amberlynn Reed's controversy. She has responded, as well as Madame. Uh, did she double down or did she own up to her mistakes? All that and more as The Rep Reports. Amberlynn Reed has effectively responded to the GoFundMe controversy via video. This video was released September 16th of 2019, following her deleting the video where she was trying to get her viewers to donate to a shady GoFundMe fundraiser. Now, uh, there was a lot of skepticism around this, and I did a deep dive video that goes really hardcore into this. So for full context, you might want to check out that video. I will put it in the description below. There was a lot of information that was leaked by Becky's stepfather's ex-wife that pointed to the GoFundMe being fraudulent. When this information started going around, Amberlynn Reed deleted her video and posted it in her community tab. My video about Becky's mom's cancer has been deleted by me because I had no idea about certain protocols when it came to talking about donations, ads, proceeds, money, charities, etc. If I did, I would have never spoke upon it. I've contacted YouTube and spoke with them and they suggested to take down the video. I explained to them that other channels might have already uploaded it and they said that would be the channel's problem and no longer mine. My advice is delete the video too. Also, Becky's mom will be making a video for my YouTube channel about the false rumors that have been floating around to the best of her ability. She is hoping to clear some things up regarding the slander and accusations. And again, thank you to those who have wished Becky's mom nothing but the best and to the people who have donated. It's truly been a hard time for all of us and the mess that's going on online right now isn't helping either. Please keep her in your prayers and thoughts. Thank you. As you can see, we never heard from Becky's mother and nothing was ever cleared up. We just got the update video that now has, currently the update video has over 6,000 dislikes, many people calling her out for lying, and a lot of people not being very surprised with this response. If you haven't been keeping up, Becky's mother has cancer, and it looks like they took this opportunity to promote a GoFundMe account on Amberlynn Reed's channel. It came out that they didn't need this money and that they were scamming their audience. People started to get their money back, and Amberlynn Reed was getting more negative attention than usual, so she deleted her video and made a dishonest post, and it looks like she's doubling down on her behavior, even though she's caught red-handed. That's not good. Also, in the news. As you know, the YouTuber that's trying to sue Anision Madame, well, I actually found out her name's pronounced Madam. But I'm just going to keep calling her Madame because that's what my southern accent tells me to do. And uh, it looks like she's a terrible person as well. We did a video talking about how she attempted to dox a 15 year old fan by the name of Slimmers as well as steal her art. Now, I had asked if uh, you guys thought she was going to double down on her behavior or if she was going to admit her faults and apologize for her mistakes. Well, we got her answer. She released one of the most disrespectful responses that I think I've ever uh, seen. I had my suspicions that she was going to be a very dishonest person as I noticed she removed my comment from the comment section of her video. It started out like this. what's your emergency hello there's furries after me there's furries lying about me i'm not well she was just saying that it was only uh, uh people in the art community that was coming after you can see my comments still here what uh, a youtuber can do on the back end is they can click a button that says hide the comment from other people i'm not a furry she's 15 years old and she even said she wasn't a professional so i would stop using that narrative she wanted your attention because of the power dynamic being on your side you have the platform you are still using her art without credit and you were not crediting her because you were upset you posted in your description thumbnail art no one since they decided you're to be unprofessional uh, you need to put your ego to the side and either remove the art from your channel or credit her. It's that easy. Doubling down on your behavior is going to make things even worse for you. It does not matter that she did this or that. What matters is that you are the person of influence. Lastly, things didn't end well for Leafy's channel. And we can see that uh, um, she removed the comment, did not take the advice, and she's killing her channel. Now, apparently a whole lot of other people have came forward exposing uh, this very horrible, unprofessional behavior of Madame. 
and uh, I've even been in contact with Slimmers, and she told me that on Madame's Patreon, there's paid content of uh, something to do with her. I can almost 100% bet that it's probably very disrespectful. It's not a good look. An artist on Twitter reached out to me and said, I also learned a lot more information from some artist's friends. Madame took credit away from Makufa, the artist who drew Madame's merch art. She did this when Makafuha gave a message of support towards Slimmers. Madame is still selling that merch now with zero credit. Wow. So I wanted to show you guys this because it seems there's still an ego problem. I think a lot of people can learn from this. As you can see, Madame is still using the channel art from Slimmers as well as in the thumbnails too. Still no credit. It's still art theft. She's uh, losing a lot of subscribers. And I think the lesson to be learned here is uh, do not let your ego go to your head and probably don't model your channel and have your inspiration be somebody that effectively killed their own channel. Also in the news. Speaking of ego, you might remember that I did a video on Charles Alyssa exposing them for full striking to silence another creator and mistreating their snake. I was curious to see if they would double down on their bad behavior or would they own up to their mistakes and faults. That's when I received a message from Officer Paul. He said Charles just DM'd me. He apologized for the video but states he won't remove the copy strike. If I were you, I might prepare to get one. He stated that because he put a disclaimer in his description that nobody can use his content, he will remove any video that does. I said I appreciate the heads up, he is wrong also. Let me break this down for you. Uh, apparently, if uh, you put a disclaimer in your description on your videos, no one can use that content for transformative content. Nobody can criticize you. Well, um, this is not true. We know this is not true. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he knows this is not true. I just kind of feel like he's uh, taking advantage of Officer Paul by saying that. He then goes on to apologize for the video of mistreating the snake. Uh, but he will not remove the false copy strike, silencing Officer Paul for speaking out. This is a YouTuber with over half a million subscribers that is abusing YouTube's copyright system to silence another creator. There needs to be more eyes on this. Uh, he'll apologize to the creator behind the scenes, but uh, again with ego, he will not come out and apologize to his audience. He will not apologize for mistreating the snake. This is a not okay thing. Um, we need We need to we need to get more eyes on that. Uh, they kind of spread the word. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative or interesting responses in the comment box below. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. Whew, man. Well, uh, the rep reports is back. I really, I got my mug in the mail. I wish I would have had it right now, but I'm really excited about the merch that we released. I told you, keeping the promise to create new merch. I'm going to try to do that monthly. I'm very excited about the mug also. Also, to keep the promise of talking about the art, uh, this is art that was submitted in it by Umaro. We have some uh, from, uh, this one's really cool. We got one from uh, Prom King. As promised, I'm going to show the uh, fan art at the end of the video. So anybody else that wants to do fan art, you can definitely throw it in. This is some art. I'm going to go through older art because I didn't show it in a video before. We got some new pieces as well. And you guys can tell me what your favorite art is as well. That's right. That's the Greg of Thrones. I really enjoy it when people make fan art for me. This was released uh, just yesterday. This is awesome. Also, don't forget that I'm trying to get this uh, Instagram to 15,000 for health and fitness content. So make sure you give it a follow. When we do hit 15,000, we're going to do that big Q&A where I'm going to go in depth. I'm going to answer some really hard, difficult questions, the ones that you ask. And uh, also patrons. I'm going to start uh, putting patrons and channel members at the end of the videos too to sort of like uh, show recognition to how I'm just I'm really grateful that you guys support me in general. Um, but uh, that's just another way to show that you're ripping, if you're not ripping, you're Greg. And how you do that, all you got to do is subscribe and notifications, turn on, be in the comment section for every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there and the rest of the Red Soul community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Did you see that Greg, Greg with a tie on on the Instagram? That, yep, yeah, he's got ties. He wears them around the house. <laughs>